I play my fair share of mind games with myself, you know, just to get myself in the right mind and to um, get me to finish my workout. Like when I do sprints, I tell myself I love it, even though I absolutely hate it. <laughs> that gets me through the workout. You just have to play those mind games with yourself. Mm -hmm. Like positivity will always be so much more powerful than negativity, and you have to use that, you know, to your full ability. I think it was just such an absolute shock to all of us. Like none of us saw that coming at all. Like it was just so unexpected, and you know, it was just a side effect, you know, from being underweight and. At that moment, it was just a sink or swim thing. Like you had to choose what what, what are you gonna do about it? You know, it was just like an instantaneous thing. Like you gotta act now, and it was just so. Uh, it was just a lot. You know, like people they want you to do well until you start doing a little bit too well. Like I mean, my friends would like bristle when like a teacher would come up and be like, "Hey, like congrats on this. Like you won this yeah. meet. You broke this record." They thought it was a big joke that like. I was putting in the extra hours. Like they were just trying to like discourage me from reaching my goals. I found throwing as my release. That was kind of how like I released all my stress and like that was just kind of like my savior, I guess. Like that's how I coped. That was how I dealt with everything. You know, what most people don't know about discus throwers is that they, they actually peak at about young 30s. So like I got lots of time, you know, and just the fact that I'm committed to what I'm doing I got lots of time, you know, so I just got to be patient and, you know, I'm just going to keep improving, keep improving, and I'll get there. Um, but also, you know, with that, I, I'm trying to change the image, you know. People who are setting the example, you know, these Hollywood role models, they were setting this terrible example for teenage girls, like setting this, this standard that you had to be, you know, just so thin, and if you weren't, then you weren't acceptable in society. And, um, I just think through what I'm doing, you know, with athletics, um, I can kind of change that by my example. Like I can kind of, instead of promoting insecurity through an unrealistic standard, I can promote um, self-esteem in young girls. So um, that's a major goal in my life that I'm kind of after.